Well, Chris, while some of Tatiana Jefferson's family members were attending a vigil for her tonight at the Potter's House, her father, Marquise Jefferson, was holding a press conference of his own at a separate church. He claims certain relatives were deliberately leaving him out of his daughter's funeral planning and attacking him publicly. That's why he says he wants the courts to step in. As the community prepares to honor the life of a Tatiana Jefferson, there was love and that smile, Lord have mercy. Can bright up there, brighten up any room. Her wake and funeral services seem to be getting upstaged by some friction among her surviving family members. It's been very tough, um, but uh, you know, Tay wanted me to be strong. I have to be strong. My mission is not over. Marquise Jefferson is Tatiana's father, and he claims ever since the 28-year-old was shot and killed inside her home by now former Fort Worth police officer Aaron Dean one week ago, some other family members and their legal representatives have left him out of the planning. He says red flags also went up when he discovered a GoFundMe account in his daughter's name. That GoFundMe went from 10000 to 50000 to 75000 Bruce Carter is a spokesman for Mr. Jefferson. He says the grieving father went to the courts on Friday asking for a temporary restraining order, giving him control of his daughter's remains, her funeral and burial. A Dallas County judge signed that order late Friday afternoon. Jefferson held a press conference announcing he's not authorizing the funeral other family members planned Saturday at the Potter's House Dallas. He's holding his own service next week. When you raise money for a specific purpose, and that money is not needed. I believe that you're defrauding the people who are weakened at heart that wants to do something. Jefferson claims he told Tatiana's relatives money wasn't needed for the funeral because he had an insurance policy to cover that. David Henderson is a civil rights attorney working with the other side of the family. He says Saturday's memorial service for Johnson will continue as planned, though her remains will not be present. I didn't hear any reason that the funeral shouldn't be able to move forward, and I think that it's wrong and in poor taste to attack the family for wanting to bury their loved one when you're not leaving them a choice because her body cannot be present for the service based on the order that you filed with the judge at four o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday. It's a tough situation impacting a family during a tragic time. Unfortunately, no one wins. In Dallas, I'm Damon Fernandez.